Okay, so you have three major plexus in the body. You have the cervical plexus in the head and neck. You have the brachial plexus uh, pretty much for the upper limb. And then you have the lumbosacral plexus, also called the lumbar plexus on its own, and the sacral plexus. Okay, so these three main plexus cover pretty much all of the uh, function to the head and neck, upper limb, and the lower limb. Now, why, what's the purpose of plexus? What does plexus mean? You know, for example, brachial plexus. Why is it called brachial plexus? Connection and meeting of all the nerves. Connection of? Collection and meeting of the nerves. Fine, a collection of nerves. So, so, for example, why do the nerves have to be arranged in plexus? Why can't they be just nerve roots? Because different nerve roots join to form <coughs> uh, nerves. Yep. Yeah. That's right, anything more? What do you need to have a, so for example, hmm? Less coordination. Coordination and? Complex movements. As complex movements, and one more thing. JP? Is it so that if one root's injured? That's right, okay. So, take your median nerve, for example, in the arm, or the radial nerve. So if just one nerve root is injured, say C6 or C7 is affected, the other roots will compensate. So that's the main purpose of plexus. That's why you have lots of nerve roots maybe uh, supplying your intercostal nerves. So for example, the T4, T5, T6 nerve roots coming from the spinal cord just supply the intercostals. They are not arranged in plexus. So even if it's one is paralyzed, it's still okay because the others will compensate. So for example, when you put a chest drain in and you damage one of the nerve roots, that's not going to be a disaster because the other intercostal nerves will compensate for respiration. But on the other hand, imagine in your upper limb, let's assume you have one nerve supplying the whole of the biceps. And if the one nerve is injured, biceps is lost. Okay, But that doesn't happen because the nerves are arranged in plexus. The biceps is supplied by three nerve roots. So even if one is affected, the other two will compensate. Okay, so that's the purpose of the plexus. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.